Today on Roblox Drama! Beef is the item on the menu tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Mini tuna serving up a silver platter. I'm telling you, everyone, this is war. This is the Battle of Hastings. In fact, one could almost compare it to the light side versus the dark side. The creator of Piggy versus the creator of Piggy. Smash, duking it out over Twitter, Roblox, and the legal rights to their property. And the creator of Piggy Smash is furious, so furious in fact, that he wants Piggy deleted. Just what is going on? What is Minitoon's response? How many Smash jokes am I gonna make in this video? Well, be sure to Piggy smash that like button. We got the scoop to keep you in the loop. Let's get right into the drama. Now to figure out what's happening here everybody, we've got to go all the way back. We've got to go back to the very first mention of Piggy Smash. We've got to go back one day ago. Where Twitter user Tisa posted two images about what appears to be Piggy Smash. Obviously from the thumbnail it has characters that revolve around Piggy with all your favorites such as Piggy. Dino, zebra, term, and wait, and b banana? But since when was freaking banana in Piggy? And Chica? Whoa, 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 what is going on here? My Piggy boys don't want to be associated with such trash such as banana. Who's that? Is he one of Mr. P's associates? Maybe the man who went and played lawn bowls with Mr. P on Friday afternoons? I'm not too sure, but they're obviously not in the Piggy story. But this game was extremely popular. It was well made. It had thousands of players playing it. And in fact, it had lots of big YouTubers checking it out as well. And I have no idea what it looks like. So I'm going to check out Gravy Catman's gameplay of it and have a look. Bananas at anybody that's not a banana. <laughs> Destroy all non-bananas. Destroy George. He is not a banana. What's E? What does he do? <gasps> Whoa, E throws like a huge banana. Take this, George. Well, to me, it looks like a fun, kid-friendly, 3D-looking Mortal Kombat arena where you pit brothers against sisters, edible goods against bunny rabbits. It looks like you've got abilities at the bottom right here. The banana has the ability to just chuck bananas at people and somehow that kills them. Probably kills them from a potassium overdose. But all the little ones seem to enjoy it. They seem to enjoy beating each other up for a sport. So the creator enjoyed good success with the game so much, in fact, that they continued development with this really weird equipment elf Elvis Presley looking items that you can equip. You can get wings so you can role play like in Royale High and mates? Ooh, I don't know if you want to use that terminology there. But he's obviously taking inspiration from the previous hit game Dungeon Quest and including some very questionable types of customization. However, like the ever present Eye of Sauron watching over the land, Minitoon is always looking and Minitoon sets his sights on Piggy Smash. Replying to Tisa's original tweet, they really don't learn and of of course, the creator of the game is new. It's an alt, as usual. The cycle continues, unfortunately. He then comments on the teaser update video. Dear Octora Games, or is that OC Dora, like OC Dora the Explorer? I have said this many times before, and I will say it again. What you are doing is illegal. You took my characters without permission and have attempted to make profit out of it. If you continue to steal my IP, I will continue to take action. That's the law. And this was the start, everybody. This was the spark that ignited the fire that turned into the great burning war of 2020. Soon after, OC Dora the Explorer Games, I'm just sticking with that now, post Piggy Smash has been deleted because of Minitoon's complaint. Please don't worry, we are updating the big version. The new version will update the characters, new equipment, more boss, more interesting. It will take a few days. Wait, 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 a few days to change the models of all the characters in there? Dude must work like Sonic. But what's really interesting is that he posts a lot of the replies from the group wall, all of which are fans of the game, demeaning Minitoon. Like here, we've got CLTY212 saying, what the hell Minitoon? Superdash saying, let's ban Minitoon Piggy Game. It's me, Cookie Fan, saying, Minitoon, you ruined my life. You know, yesterday I was just new, grr. If that ruined your life, you should probably step off the computer for a bit. And in the most shocking and frankly disturbing of them all, I should 
should probably put up a warning here. Time Ninja 702 says, I will eat Minitoon. But the only reason I can see OC Dora Games posting this image is to fan flames of hate against Minitoon and, and try to get back at Minitoon by making him feel bad with all the people who enjoyed the game. Man, it's just my opinion. That's what I think happened. But this fans the flames further because Minitoon replies again. Once again, I strongly advise that you do not include any of my original characters or I will continue to take action. What you have done is illegal and there is no excuse for that. Do not pin the blame on me for the takedown. What you did was violate the terms of service. And this begins the next arc of the story, the tirade against Minitoon with the one man army of OC Dora the Explorer games. Starting with the spam of all the characters of Minitoon are copied from Peppa Pig. Minitoon copied from Peppa Pig. Minitoon is a robber, a thief. I've complained to Roblox, we can change all characters, but Minitoon must delete Piggy Game. They even tagged Roblox developer relations and Roblox. They're trying to get Roblox involved here, saying that Roblox should take down Piggy because Minitoon stole from Peppa Pig. They then continue with, all our models are downloaded from Roblox Studio Toolbox. We don't know that this is the copyright of Minitoon, but all the characters of Minitoon are copied from Peppa Pig. We've complained to Roblox, we can change all the characters, but Minitoon must delete piggy game. There is no compromise. Until Minitoon posts an image of his copyright of the piggy franchise that is located in the game's description. Where it shows copyright 2020 Minitoon Inc. Piggy and the piggy characters, images and logos are trademarks of Minitoon Inc. All rights reserved. Well, that changed his tone because then he issues an apology. First of all, we apologize. As a noob, I have something to say. If you open Roblox, you can search for hundreds of games with piggy. Why aren't they offline? When you open Roblox Studio Toolbox, you can see thousands of piggy models. We don't know who owns the copyright. And I don't know why, but nearly every tweet they make, they spam three times and then each time tag someone different. And finally, their latest post says, many games are using piggy models in the toolbox to make money. Why haven't these games been deleted? And they're posting a screenshot of a whole bunch of different games here. And yes, while he's in the wrong, he actually kind of does raise an interesting point. Like what defines the difference between Minitoon taking down one game over another? Minitoon has said before, it wouldn't be upsetting if it was just little small fan games. I really don't mind those at all. But games like this with a large following using my characters as their face of their game. Well, and that was in response to the whole speedrun simulator debacle that they had. Uh, yeah, here we go. Speed simulator where they use George in the thumbnail. But I said it in that video as well. What if a small fan game blows up in popularity all of a sudden from like Flamingo or someone? Because sometimes it's really hard to contact Minitoon for permission because so many people are tweeting at him. And yes, the majority of these small fan games do still use Robux purchases. It's a tough situation, but you got to remember Minitoon could take down all of these games if he wanted to do. He could come down at any time with Thor's hammer and smack him right between the legs right into the next galaxy. So at no point would you have any grounds to argue that Minitoon's being unfair or anything because it is his property that you're using for it. But all in all, no, Roblox will not be shutting down Piggy no matter what the developer does. So they should probably start getting to work on those brand new models, which will only take a couple of days. And well, maybe you could do, who knows, FNAF Smash, uh, Fortnite Smash, <laughs> Super Smash Brothers Smash. <laughs> See, there's so many other things out there that you can use. It's magical. But what do you think about all this, everybody? What do you think about Mini Toon taking it down? Should he have left it up just to be nice? Or do you think he should have taken it down because they were making a lot of money from Piggy Smash. All of it probably against the law, although I am not a lawyer, so I am not very well versed with it. And also, do you think Banana has a place in Piggy Smash? You've been watching Drama Blocks. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye! And by the way, $500 Tower of Terror tournament has started, so be sure to click the link below to join for a chance to win $500. Just be the fastest time there.